Today we would like to show the integration of the Ethernet IP IO Link Master IOLG2 EI from ZIG into a Logic Designer PLC environment. First of all, the hardware needs to be configured. The first step is the adjustment of the IP address on the device itself. In order to change the IP address, press the S button until you reach the menu Network Configuration. Confirm the menu with the arrow button. When the IP address menu is shown, press the S button for 3 seconds. The IP address is then entered from last to first octet. Use the arrow button to change the octet number and the S button to switch from one octet to another. A line at the bottom of the screen indicates the current octet. The current IP address is 192.168.254.1, which is changed to the IP address 192.168.10.20. When having finished entered the fourth octet and the S button is pressed again, the IP address is entered correctly and stored. Afterwards, a power cycle is necessary. When having entered the IP address into the device, the hardware configuration will be continued in the RS Logic software or Logix designer. First of all, the IO Link Master needs to be implemented into the PLC environment. For this purpose, it is necessary to switch to the PLC's Ethernet interface. There are two ways how to implement the IO Link Master into the Ethernet IP environment. First, we will show the way that is possible for all RS Logic software using a generic module and then the way that is possible from version 20 onwards only using an EDS file. Click with the right mouse button on the PLC's Ethernet interface and then select the option New Module. Type in Generic into the search field and select the Generic Ethernet Module. Click Create. In order to describe the IO Link Master some parameters needs to be set. First of all, a name is necessary. This name can be anything but sure be different from other Ethernet IP slaves or master's names. In this case, SIG IOLM is selected. The COM format needs to be data short integer. The IP address is the manually entered address into the device. In this case, it is 192.168.10.20. The instances for input, output, and configuration need to be entered manually. These values can be found in the manual. These values are fixed and predefined by the IO Link Master. Press OK to finish the configuration. The second way is for RS Logic software version 20 and newer, which supports the import or the usage of EDS files. In order to use the EDS file, it needs to be downloaded from the website first. Then it needs to be installed by clicking the Tools EDS Hardware Installation. Just follow the wizard and select the relevant EDS file in order to install it in the PLC environment. When the EDS file is installed, right click on the PLC's Ethernet interface and select the option New Module. Now the search field can be used directly to search the recently installed module. The search can be for example performed by the vendor name by typing in SIG. The device is found and selected by clicking on it and then clicking on Create. Again, a unique device name and the previously entered IP address need to be entered. By clicking on OK, the module is created in the PLC environment. The next step is the port configuration of the IO Link Master. The changes need to be transferred to the PLC by clicking on the Communications tab in the menu and select the Download option. Click on Download. The PLC program is then transferred to the PLC. For the port configuration, change to the Controller tag and open the configuration assembly of the IO Link Master. As described in the manual, byte 0 and byte 1 
are responsible for the I.O. link configuration. Change the view to binary. As an example, we would like to change port 1 to I.O. link. All other ports will be configured as standard I.O.s. In order to do it, bit 1 needs to be set to 1 and all others to 0. The adjustment will only be accepted in the device after a power cycle of the device. The change is visible as now port 0 is switched to I.O. link and all others are standard I.O.s. The next step is the request of process data of the connected sensor. Collapse the configuration assembly and expand the input assembly. Open the data menu. The documentation shows that byte 8 to 55 refer to the process data of I.O. link port 0 where the sensor is connected. The connected sensor has a process data width of 2 byte which means that only byte 8 and 9 is used for the process data transmission. As soon as the process data change, the change is displayed immediately in this view. The current sensor value is displayed. The next step that is shown in this tutorial is the communication with the integrated web server. Just enter the IP address that has been assigned to the IOLing master into your browser and you will enter the integrated web server. Make sure the proxy server on your PC has been deactivated when using this feature. The device can be diagnosed from here as well. The diagnostic module view shows the current status of the module. The picture represents the actual status of the module itself. Here, connections and errors are displayed. To access process data, the diagnostic process tab has to be opened. The connected device is displayed. As soon as the process data change, the web server visualizes these changes immediately. By clicking on Device Properties, service data of the IOLing device can be read or written down. As an example, the standard index 16 is displayed. This index is the vendor name of the connected device. By selecting the port, in this case port 0, and by typing in 16 in the index field with subindex 0 and clicking on Apply, the IOLing master reads the data and visualizes it as an ASCII-based hack stream. In this case, the displayed name is SIG AG. For more information, visit us at sick.com.